Hello and greetings from the parish of Great Yarmouth and to members of our church as anyone else who is watching today. It is coming up to Twelfth Night and so uh, for many people it's time to take down their Christmas decorations and uh, um, some people have a, 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 a there's a sort of slight uh, hesitancy which date is Twelfth Night it depends when you start counting um, from Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, um, and also this year in church, Epiphany falls on the Saturday, we transfer to the Sunday, the 7th of January. Uh, so in my mind, technically, uh, um, 12th night is the eve of the, uh, the Epiphany, so that would uh, technically be Saturday night is the time to take your Christmas decoration out, but don't worry too much because we're all different and we all do things slightly differently. Uh, we have our tree here in the vicarage, so that'll be coming down uh, at some point over the weekend. I'm not quite sure exactly when. Uh, and like a lot of people's Christmas uh, decorations uh, and Christmas trees, we have all sorts of, of weird and wonderful things. Um, I seem to remember years ago when, when we sort of first had a Christmas tree that uh, my wife had a very sort of clear idea that it was going to have certain colours and styles of baubles on it. It was going to be very, very stylized. Um, and over the years, we've just had this amazing mishmash of all sorts of things. So there's like a, there's a burger, because uh, every Christmas tree needs a burger, doesn't it? Um, there's a, a, a little uh, decoration of the, uh, the Archbishop, uh, Archbishop Justin there. Um, I think if you look, I think there's also, there's Rowan Williams and John Sentamu on there too. Um, and of course, like many families, we have fantastic things which were made by the children at some point years ago. Um, and they are still there and it wouldn't be Christmas if we got rid of them. So there is our, oh, there's a raccoon I just see as well. Oh, it was a raccoon for on a Christmas tree, but anyway. Uh, so there is our wonderful, unique, and very diverse and rather peculiar um, Christmas tree, uh, which is always part of, uh, of Christmas time here in the rectory. Um, it's weird and it's a bit wacky and it's a little bit strange and rather unique, but we wouldn't have Christmas any other way. Um, and I dare say, if, if we got out the Christmas tree and didn't put these marvellous things up there, then um, I think my boys would have some sort of mutiny, certainly. I'll just put those down there. Uh, so uh, perhaps uh, you will be uh, doing some, maybe of taking your Christmas decorations down already. Uh, in my mind, I'm always sort of, uh, I'd always like to put up my Christmas decorations as near to Christmas Eve as I can get away with, and, uh, and then to leave them there for the season of Christmas. In, in our churches, the cribs, they stay right through until Candlemas, the 2nd of February. Uh, although uh, Christmas trees sometimes might, might stay that long, but quite often Christmas trees will come down around about 12 night because sometimes they start looking um, uh, like they've been standing there for a month or more. And so uh, it's time for those to come down. So it's that time, but um, it's also a new year. So this is sort of a happy new year kind of message as well, because we're uh, looking forward to all that goes on in the life of the parish of Great Yarmouth in the weeks and in the months to come. So this comes with my greetings to you for a happy new year, a uh, happy 12th night and a happy uh, epiphany uh, when we remember the arrival of the Magi and uh, the gifts that they bring and that revelation uh, that Jesus is for all. So hope to uh, take care, God bless and hope to see you soon.